So once you've upgraded to an agency account within Synflow, you now have your fully white labeled platform. You can access this by logging into the agency tab here and you'll have this screen in front of you. Now, if you wanted to add a sub account for your client, all you have to do is go to sub accounts, go to create in the top right hand corner. You could either import from go high level if you're using that, or you can just click new sub account, give it a name, client account one, very creative, press create. And now immediately you have a sub account for your client. We can change this name if you want to, but now we have a number of tabs available to us. We're going to run through these quickly and in another video, we're going to break them down one by one. First up, you have your members tab. Here's where you can invite your client, add an email address here. Next, you have the tabs, the visibility of what you do and do not want to show your client within their account. If you want them to configure their assistant, you can show them that or you can toggle it off. The prompt, if you want to customize a prompt, where they are and aren't able to deploy to. If you want to handle this, you just toggle the whole thing off. If you only want them to have access to Zapier, for instance, you can toggle that on. And then the calls to see, to allow the client to see the history of the calls. Pretty simple. If you want to go more granular and tweak the permissions, you can. You can toggle on and off the following things. Allow sub accounts to independently create assistance teams, workflows, custom actions, phone numbers, and contacts. So you can give your client as much granular responsibility as you want, or you can make it super simple if you're doing a white glove service and just remove all of that so they just see the real basics. As well, you can customize the amount of free minutes they get under the sub account, set that to 50 for instance. And remember, all these changes are automatically saved within Synflow. Next, Assign the products that you want your clients to have. If you've pre-made an assistant for them, you can click import assistant and then click what assistant you want to give them. That then shows them inside of their sub account. I'll show you that in a sec. Create some pricing plans over here. If you want to create a custom pricing plan, click that. It's a topic for another video. History of payments, captured, uncaptured, and errored out. You can see those as a list in here once the client's live. And your API keys, this is unique to the client. So create a new API key here. Straight away, it's available to you. Connect a Twilio account and connect 11 Labs account here too. So if you want to create these accounts for your client, you can do that. If you want the client to create the account and then import details here, do that too. And then finally on the calls tab, you have an assistant, a list of assistant made calls here by broken down by assistant, by created date and by status. It's so as simple as that, and then the overall dashboard, you see the number of calls made, actions executed, talk time average, minutes used, and the number of assistants created. If you want to log into your client sub account, click access, and you have a different version of Synflow, which you can see here. Again, they have one assistant, they can't create any, and this whole thing will be tailored to your exact preferences. Hope you enjoyed this quick tutorial. That's how to create a sub account for your client and see you on the next one. Bye.